coffee. Is it still boiling hot? I've just uh, just made it, hand dripped it. So I wasn't gonna do this video. I didn't plan to make a video today. Well, I think one has released today because of the her scheduling system, but I just wanted to kind of respond in a way. It's not, it, half it's a response, but it's not like giving advice or anything. It's just like, hey, this is what I'm doing as well. Is uh, I've got a bit of inspiration and it's like expanded on what I'm doing. And I'm just going to say from now, what it is, is I watch, I've been recently watching, I've, I've, I've done a response video to one of his other videos about, about a month ago now. His uh, name Adam, and um, it's very strange because he's just in. Well, I'm just to say that day is uh, Wednesday, fourth of October in Japan, Japanese time. So it's probably his third. Probably the is it still the third? I think it's still the third or technically the fourth now in the UK. He's from UK, just like me, but obviously I've immigrated to Japan now. And he uploaded a video, I think it was like less than 12 hours ago, about his uh, October plan. And it was interesting because his October plan video is exactly what I'm doing. Kind of. It's not exactly the same, but it's kind of similar to what I'm doing. And, this is bef and I did this before that video came out, so... I didn't even like copy him. I just had this idea in my mind of how I wanna go about personally Im improving myself and like learn new things and just trying to change habits and learn, discover myself more and trying to improve myself in a personal way. And so my idea was to make a list of goals I want to make for the month. And I've did that. And I'll go into detail about it in a minute. Like, I did that, I think, like, two days ago. I just made a little list. Like, this is what I want to do this month. Definitely want to do this. and Definitely want to do this. And then that video Adam made yesterday came out. And it's very similar. So he's got a plan to do this month. I'll link to the video below of his video. And it just hit me because I was like, wow, that's so strange that he's, like, he's doing the same thing as me and it's like the same kind of wavelength. It's crazy. I don't know because we're both British, maybe. <laughs> I don't know, but I found that funny. Um, but he gave me inspiration. So because of his video, I've expanded on my plan this month. And I want to try and do this every month. And maybe I will change things out and change things around and maybe do the same thing. I don't know, but... My approach is different to his approach. His approach is more very vague of what he wants to do in the month. It's more like areas and topics. There's not like a task involved. It's just like an area. So he's done like um, body, mind, uh, work and, and education. So it's just like something educational based this month I must do. But mine's more a little bit more specific. It's not too specific, but a little bit more specific just to like give me an idea of what I want to achieve this month. And I think that's just because I've got an interest at in what I want to do. If I didn't have any clue so much of what I wanted to do, I just wanted that area, then I'd probably do the same thing. But because I've recently like moving in Japan, I've started to cook more myself. But I've I'm not half. I'm not. I haven't really like actually studied cooking I'm just kind of winging it and just learning as I go along with like the culture of this country and just learning bits and bobs from people and just how they do it here and a little bit here and I, I've bought some books but I briefly look at it I don't study it so I kind of want to like actually put some time into that topic so I know that's a topic I want to do so that's one of the things so what I will do now yeah I'm going to go through what my plan is for this month so I've got a list I haven't got it written out on the wall or anything like that it's on my phone so I can't I'm gonna have to remember from memory because it's on the phone which I'm using to record so I can't like literally look at it now so it might be a bit different to what I've wrote it down 
But from what I remember, I've done five things I want to do. The first thing is colour cooking. This is what I want to do. Now you're thinking, what the hell is colour cooking? Because as I said, I'm cooking more and I'm getting interested in cooking. Because I do a lot of cooking for dinners and stuff. I'm, I do most most of it. Not always. I'm not going to say I'm the only one who cooks in the house. I'm not. And my wife is better cook because she's obviously knows Japanese cooking more because she's Japanese. And I'm kind of just winging it and just <laughs> kind of like, I'll, I'll copy a bit of a Japanese recipe and I'll just kind of wing it and then just do my own thing and I get, like, what the hell, this isn't kind of right Japanese cuisine. I'm like, yeah, I know, because I'm winging it. So this is where I want to kind of solve that issue. But I don't want to go into, like, trying to follow recipes. The problem with recipes is that I... Unless you keep doing it, you're not going to remember it. So I don't really like doing it. I don't like following a book because to me, while I'm cooking and following a book, it's just kind of, it's hard to do because I end up overcooking and stuff. So I'm going to focus on colour cooking. And what it is, is in the UK, you don't really learn about nutrition as in school. You learn it for like a week and then you just forget about it. In Japan, it's a topic they constantly learn throughout the years of school. So they learn a lot more about nutrition. So it probably was taught in England, but I don't remember it. But so the colour cooking thing is I'm trying to make a colourful dish every time. So, for example, carrots are orange or in the red category. And then you've got your green category, which is lettuce and cabbage and like green peas and all that stuff. And then you've got yellow category, which is like mushrooms. Sometimes mushrooms are the white category. And like potatoes and stuff. And then you have... The white category, which is like rice, more starchy stuff, like pasta and stuff. And then you have, there's one more category, I can't remember. There's five colours. And I'm trying to, every dish I make now, incorporate three colours. If you're not that in, like, clued up in nutrition and what has what vitamins, the best way to get around, like, to get a kind of average healthy nutrition plate or food is to do the color based thing because each different color vegetable has kind of varied nutrition and varied vitamins it's kind of easier so it's if you're saying that like, you've got a color of this green orange on the plate it's bound to have more nutrition than if it's just all brown and just fried so what well, it definitely is so i'm trying to at least import a three colors for each dish I'm trying to learn that, and I've got a book when I'm noting it down, and I'm trying to make that a habit, because I, I might do it, like, once a week, actually put effort into doing the colours, and then I'm like, oh, I'll just pick anything and make something random, like random soup, and my wife straight away knows that I've just kind of random and haven't followed the recipe at all. But it tastes fine. It's not like it tastes awful. Like It tastes fine, but it's just, like, not a familiar flavour, because it's not a normal recipe. So I want to try and fix that, and not so much follow recipes, I'm not good at that, but just... Still kind of wing it, but use the colour system. So don't just like use all greens. It's just a green soup. Add colour. So like mushroom, carrots, and uh, maybe some like uh, peppers in a soup, for example. And that's a weird thing, but I'm saying I'm not really fond of recipe. As long as it tastes nice and has nutrition, that's what I'm focusing on. And there you go, here's your three colours. So that's my first thing I want to do for October is colour cooking. And then the next thing... is read a book and learn from a book. Because I like reading, but the reason I already just started doing this plan thing, I had it in my mind to do it, but it's just got good weather now. The summer's ended. And in summer in Japan, you can't do anything. You have no energy. So summer in Japan to me is just everything goes out the window. And you just kind of just survive it. And just that's my game. And I've said this a lot many times. That's my gaming season. So I get a lot of games done. Now I've got energy because the weather's not terrible i can go out walking and i can do more stuff record more videos and less gaming so it's only gonna be like my i'm only gonna like have two games on the go like a casual one and a main game and that's it and maybe one maybe i might do an extra one for like a youtube video but it's nowhere near it's taking as much time now but it's just because you can't do anything you can't even if you want to do something more productive you just can't because you have no energy even reading a book was just like not a thing in summer so my second thing is reading a book and my book i'm reading at the moment is about the animals in forests and mountains in japan and i'm really enjoying it. it's a really good book 
I've always been interested. If you've seen my videos in the past, I've done a lot of hunting simulator games. I'm really interested in like, not so much hunting, but like gathering and animal spotting and nature. I'm interested in that. And the third thing, I've got to try and remember from my mind because I can't remember all of it, but there's a lot of things. Oh, going for walks more regularly. And this is what I'm doing every day now. Outside of work, even when I've got to work one day, I'm going to go for a walk during that day. As long as I get 5,000 steps in minimum, then I'm happy. Um, and that will just naturally happen anyway because the weather's good now. It feels good to go out. It clears your mind. It's great. And then the fourth thing. That's it. I remember now. Spend more time the garden. I'm going to say it like that because I haven't really got a garden. You've seen my videos. We haven't really got a garden. We've just got this like front area where you put your washing out. And so it's just a bit of a space. But we've got loads of our plants which are given to us. We didn't ask for it. Now we're just, just looking after them and growing them. And we had this issue recently with a sea cucumber. We've grown this, as you've probably seen my videos, where it's massive sea cucumber, like bush, which is just overgrown. It's crazy. And we haven't, we didn't know what it was because we get given it and we don't have it. And we're like, what is it? And they're like, I don't know. So we just we don't have a clue what's going to happen and we get it. And then we find out when it's too late, really. So now we're having issues with stink bugs, which is like a big thing in Japan in the news because of the late, because the summer's been dragging out for so long, all these stink bugs have appeared. We've got that issue and we're trying to figure it out. And we didn't know this because we didn't know what the plant was until it's too late. So we next time, we're not going to just get receive anything. We're going to ask what it is. And we're going to research what the hell it's going to do and what you need to do to keep it from going like this. You know what I mean? So I want to focus more on our garden area. And actually, not just what I've watered the plants every day. That's just become a habit now. It took me ages to get into that habit of doing it every day because it wasn't a thing I usually did. Now it's a habit thing. I always water them. But now I'm not just water them and go, that's done. I actually spend some attention to them and look at them. And actually look at the plants and see their condition and learn from it. Because I'm interested in plants anyway. Next year I want to focus on herbs, not plants. My wife's It's my wife's hobby, which has kind of put me into it. Because obviously when she's at work, she works more than me. So I said, oh, I'll take over and just look after the plants. But it's not really my hobby. But it's starting to become my mod hobby. And I'm starting to get interested. But I'm more interested in herbs and mint. And like, I don't know, other things. Just, I'm, I, want to, I want to study herbs. Anyway, that's one of the things I want to do. And that'll be next year. And we're going to get some herbs and grow herbs. Because mint's a great way to repel insects. That's one thing. Like if you're going to grow some carrots in a pot, because you can grow carrots in a pot. If you're going to do that, grow mint as well with it. And the mint grows above and the carrots grow below. And that way, the mint fends off all the bugs. I haven't tried it, but that's what they say. So that's one of the other things I want to do. And then the fifth thing... It's kind of like, well, actually there's six things now. Because the fifth thing was I want to learn at least 20 new kanji this month. Because I'm, in terms of studying, actually studying Japanese, I've slacked off for a long time now. I don't really do any studying like I used to do. When I was in England, I used to study like four hours a day, write out constantly writing out grammar. And I haven't done that for a year now. But it's because I'm living in Japan, I work in Japanese and it's just all Japanese. And when I'm working, there's kanji everywhere and I'm learning. And I'm learning more. And I'm I'm not I'm not forgetting anything. I haven't lost the ability because I'm living in it. I'm, I am actually improving, but it could be more improved if I still studied it. But I just don't study it as much. Well, I haven't studied really at all for ages. But I kind of want to go back into kanji again. And just learn 20. I know that's nothing. 20 in a month is nothing. But... Because I'm involved in Japanese all the time and I want to do other things. To me, it's just like a little small improvement for myself. But I want to master those 20 kanji, you not just learn it and then forget it. I want to master it. So that's the other thing. And then this new one was thanks to Adam, his video. Because he was talking about education. That's one of the points he's put in his plan. And just improving and learning something. And it got me thinking, I would like to learn things. And he got put me in the direction of, is it Coursera? I'm not sure how you pronounce the uh, word, but there's like a online kind of system. It's a website called Coursera. I think it's Coursera. It's Coursera and RA. And there's a lot of free courses and paid courses. And I'm 
I'm interested in it. He's doing it as well. And I'm just started today. I've looked at it and I've started the course on uh, psychology in, in the mind. And it's just a, one I would pick just because I'm always interested in the mind and stuff. And I just went, oh, I'm going to try this as a tester, see how this goes. And I'm gonna. I want to learn new things. And the thing is, when you're younger and you're going to college, you're learning it because the goal is to get a career. And I am not aiming for a new higher job or anything. I just want now in my thirties. I just want to learn things because I didn't really. I was too lazy to learn things. Now I actually want to learn things. I'm not gonna push myself. I need to learn it this fast because I need to go and get a job. So I need to learn this thing to get this career, and I need to do it fast. I'm learning this thing for me. So I can spend my time on it and not worry about deadlines. It's for me, and there's no deadlines on this course. It's like you do it in your own time. So it could take like half a year, but I'm actually putting effort in and I'm actually understanding it and enjoying it. So it's keeping in mind and I'm actually learning, not just like remembering. So I'm just going to do these courses for me just to learn new things. And that's what I'm, that's the goal. I'm not having a goal to find work for these courses it's just to improve my knowledge of the world for me to understand things more and to enjoy things and just find out new things which really started realizing that and this website which adam was talking about on his video is actually really good so far and you can do it on your phone as well which is great so i can just get on the phone and i've been writing notes down i've got all these notebooks and i'm just no i'm not great at notes but i'm just writing it down anyway to see if it helps and one of the courses I definitely want to get into, and I haven't seen if there's any free courses yet, but if there is, is speaking, English speaking course. Because, like, Adam, he's very good at speaking. He's a very clear speaker in his videos, and I'm kind of, like, envious of that. <laughs> but I'm, I've never been good at speaking. I've got slightly better. Hopefully, if you compare my videos now to when I first started, I am a slightly better. But I've always spoke too fast and unclear. Don't really know why. Maybe this psychology le uh, course I'm doing might shed light into that. I don't know, but I've always been a fast speaker and I kind of want to speak more clearly. It might be because when I was younger, I was more shy and less confident speaking. I was more uh, worried about what people thought of me. So I kind of was like that. So maybe that's what caused it. I don't know. But now I'm like, I don't give a toss what people think. So I want to try and fix my speaking and I'm hoping there's come courses to help that and that's really one of the things I want to really focus on course wise first before expanding my knowledge and other things the only reason I'm doing psychology is just because it's a tester it's not a big course and I want to see how the system works and just go from there and if, it, if I like it and I think it's really good and I've enjoyed it and then I'll go on to courses that I'm more interested in there's quite a few things I would like to learn and that's it really this is good timing because I've got to go and sort my passport out. <laughs> so, I just wanted to make this video because it was all in my mind. I wanted to get it out before I kind of go to work later today, come back and then forget half the things I wanted to talk about. So that's it really. I just wanted to do a response to Adam's video. Keep responding to his videos because I'm a fan of his videos and it's just like enlightened. And he's a very clear speaker, so it's I think it's really inspiring. I'm in such a different situation to his situation, but I can connect to it really well. And that's it really. So I'll see you next time and I hope you have a good day.